Central limit zero, CLT. So what is the given information? I say, if I tell you x1, x2 up to xn is a simple random sample, OK? And when sample size is large, how large is large? Depends on the textbook used. Some books say 25 is big enough. Some books say 30. Some books say 40. And in some cases, even 100 is not large enough, OK? But for this course, for our course, you can consider 25 is big enough. OK? Now, when sample size is large enough, what do we have? We have sample total. That is x1 plus all the way up to xn will follow normal, but not exactly normal. It's a plus maybe normal. OK? With mean is EV sample total, a standard deviation, SE sample total. Or the other version is you talk about sample mean. That is sample total over n. When sample size is large enough, sample mean will also follow a plus median normal with EV sample mean and SE sample mean. Okay? And let's note. Okay? Let's look at the note. As discussed earlier, EV sample total is n times mean, or you say average of the box times n. Okay? Average of the box is population average, okay? Usually we use mean, use this term, okay? And SE sample total is standard deviation of the box times square root of n, okay? And standard deviation of the box is sigma times square root of n. So square root of n times sigma. This is a case when it's with replacement. If without replacement, you need to consider what? Finite population correction factor. Is that right? That's what I just covered, OK? And look at EVX bar. What's EVX bar? It's just what? Average of the box is population average. Or in more advanced book, they use mean, OK? And how about SEX bar? It's standard deviation of the box divided by what? Square root n. If this is with replacement. Without replacement, you have finite population correction factor here. Is that OK? That is a famous one, central limit zero, OK?